found something. Buenos Aires International Airport this morning. Now watch this. Heralds. Trail ends at the airport, but turns out that a top Providence operative owns a vineyard in the area. Don Yates, of infamous New York law firm Morgan Yates and Cohn. And get this, it's hosting his retirement party today. She's infiltrated them. She's sending a message. She needs my help. Could have fooled me. You don't know her. Anyway, if you're going after her, you'll need to deal with the Herald. Her name's Tamara Vidal, former CIA asset and political firebrand. She's a master of surveillance and the Constance's most trusted aide. She'll have eyes everywhere. You won't get far as long as she's in the game. Why are you telling me this? I thought you were out. Yeah. Old habits, I guess. Anyway, I... I need to go. See you around, 47. No, you won't. Now, hopefully, yes, welcome everyone to another Roulette Rivals World Championship 2024 match uh, between Parapluie and Dane Nomos. I am joined for this cast by Infrafun. Welcome. Hello, everyone. Hello, Curry. Hope audio levels are fine. I did turn Infrafun down just a little bit there. And uh, yeah, second match of the tournament so far. We had the opening match uh, a couple hours ago. Uh, but still very very hyped to see this one play out first match of group f if i recall correctly it is correct uh, i do need to check it's very early on in the tournament <laughs> yeah we don't we don't exactly uh, like know everyone but i it, put it in the title so i can just read from there and hope i didn't make a an issue there uh, a good question i should just try to refresh but, but it is live so All quick right. refresh yeah. and we'll be ready just in time for the first thing there it is just in time first matt mendoza was picked by uh dean if i'm not entirely yeah was picked by dean even though he's on the right side of the overlay we did have some troubles with that early on in the tournament but the spin is here in for fun what have we got let's see the best mendoza player first mendoza pick this group stage it is done yet it's injected poison as the head of security and tamara vidali execution as core for plex so it is the pair of the unique disguises mm -hmm. standing next to each other interesting one for sure um i'm just waiting for chris message in chat if we had have had this combo so far already um <laughs> where, where are you chris i i think he might be sleeping or something i don't know his sleep schedule actually but yeah um probably had this uh, already i mean one of them this guy is, is kind of good like surely you can grab him and uh, both of them might need some um some improvisation dean already loaded and started a sado chef apparently seems to do the same um, however, had a sh quick replan and is now loading in as well. This is going to be the, the big challenge of this spin. What to do with these two disguises? If one is in the spin, you, pro you usually just lure one of them with the, with the banana and you place that same banana to grab the, grab the disguise. But now that you need both of them, I'm going to be really interested to see uh, what they do with the second disguise. Uh, obviously, it makes more sense to start with the head of security, but we'll see what happens after for tomorrow. Indeed, uh, we did see, or both players are, um, well, are grabbing the head of security first using the banana throw. Um, and probably is trank, a uh, seekering, I think, Corvo Black, whereas Dane hasn't done anything. Um, from to, to deal with Corporal Black yet, and... Oh, I was going to say that it might be a, a good decision, and I still think it... I think there was potential in, in trying to grab those, both these guys at the same time, but uh, I think when the Seeker shot happened on Para's side, the fake NPCs spread, and they didn't hide the head of security anymore. Which, of course, meant that Corvo found him 
deleting the emetic uh, behavior and just making the rest of the spin difficult. So parallel city planning and Dean's advantage is now at two minutes, gets the first scale down and uh, we see the crux of the spin. How will he get Corvo? Yeah, Corvo by this time um, it's probably already moved on from their initial meeting a point. I am not too sure if it's an entire route actually. But Dean is grabbing another banana, so there might be some strats with that. See, I'm, I wasn't sure about it, but I think I think you're actually right that even with the head of security out and down, uh, Coral will still begin that same conversation. Okay, yeah, but uh, it would make more sense. Yeah, I want to say it would. I, I would assume so. I do not actually know that, but we should see it now on Dean's side. Oh no, that's the that's the seeker for tomorrow. That works as well. Um, bit of a timer. twenty more seconds, and we will find out. Yes. <laughs> Playing on the other side, opting for a different strategy. I don't think has uh, done anything for neither of the two disguises. Although maybe uh, there seems to be some emetics involved since there are people sick and walking towards the bathrooms, uh, which I can only assume are probably both of them at this point. I mean, I guess you could just drop Durian or something and might get both of them sick. Um, he did make both of them sick. Here's Corvo for Para. I'm not seeing Quartazar, but I think from that point, oh. And you could hope for for rerouting at this point if they hasn't gone to an actual actual bin yet. Yeah, instinct will be good help, but I'm not saying it's so the Mythic might just be for tomorrow. Might not see this one fully though, because. Ooh, big wishes for Para trying to get this seeker angle. Meanwhile, yeah, this is this is what I was talking about. I pretty sure that which will happen first. Oh, Corvo notices the body first, but if it takes a couple of steps forward, yeah, there it is. That was very nicely done by Dean. Uh, the the, KO, uh, uh, the the distraction. Head of security did saw the the, the disguise, but uh, the dead body or KO'd body, but the banana managed to get him before he was at the body, and that's a finish for Dean. With I can't actually read what that says. There seems to be some text overlaying that. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the R finalist accolade. Oh yeah, probably, probably. Uh, but, I mean, it, it looks like it's 55 minutes, but it's probably more like 5 minutes. <laughs> like 5.15? Yeah, probably, probably. We will see the wonderful um, Tango exit. As... Of course, points are given when the 5-star yeah. SA screen is shown, whenever possible. <laughs> Always some exceptions, but looking forward I mean, to that. And the first I mean, two points will be given to Dean. Yeah, it shouldn't, it doesn't like nothing... That could have really gone wrong there. We should just see five stars as the red SA. There it is. And Dean will take this first map uh, and his own map pick, as we said before. And uh, it's going to be Paris next. Indeed. Paris, which was now uh, Parplumi's um, map pick. Can try refreshing the overlay since uh... ah. apparently my it my things might be have fixed uh although i will ah there we have it dean's name is correctly displaying now for me so yeah dean's full name on the overlay now and uh well, we do have players with longer names, so hopefully those will work properly now as well. And uh, yeah, from the very last map in the trilogy that we play, technically there's maps after that. I guess, no, uh, depends on where you put in, put Ambrose, but I'm just going to say it's the la Mendoza was the last map of the trilogy how we played, and Paris now the first map of the trilogy how we played. And um, so yeah.
jumping back and forth between the seasons. Just to see if Para can get another two points and quote unquote pull it back uh, on Paris, although we this is a play all three match, so even if Dean would be up four is zero after this after Paris, um it we will still play our last map, which is the random map. And uh, since this is a group stage match, so all maps matter, all points that you get matter, even if your uh, the match ends four to two against you, you still manage to pick up two points from that, which could be the determining factor in advancing or not advancing to the KO stage. So. That all important group stage with eight players. This one in particular has uh, Dean as the first seed and Paraplu as the third seed. So this will be one of the most high profile matches of the group. The other ones include Quotility number two, I like Hitman number four, and then th the four that are outside looking in, but are also competent, which makes this a very exciting group that fifth to eight are O Shitman, Red Fox, Demchiku, and the buff guy. So the so only four of these eight names will advance. And yeah, at least five of them have made it or have been has shown that they can definitely be in the top 32 or more. Gonna be really difficult. Indeed. <laughs> right, and we, we might have a, uh, a fix for the accolade showing over the um, the done press of the players as Mr. Mike, the MVP, has apparently already fixed that. I'm going to just wait for a couple more seconds and then I'm going to refresh the overlay one last time before this spin is arriving, which is in just under 20 seconds now. There was one more refresh. Um, and I just realized that predictions are a thing, so we will do a quick one for map two. <laughs> It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while for sure. Uh, yeah, stat-wise, I don't think we can talk a lot about this anymore. Both have played Paris three times. Uh, Dean was, I think, 1-1-1, one, 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 Paraplay 2-1-0. And let's see if they're going to improve their stats with this spin. It's going to be Viktor Novikov, then SMG as the chef, and Dalia Margolis drowning as the Sheik Salman Al-Ghazali. Is it the case of the simplest chat being the weather? You just start chef and with the Matic Wallbang, you get him in the Sheik's bathroom? And then, of course, speaking of sheiks and bathrooms, we then get the second disguise and maybe another emetic for Dahlia. If you have the loadout for it, then that would be probably a sensible way for like a two and a half minute second kill and finish slightly after three. Yeah, very possible. We did see like 30 seconds of planning for both players there. So it was, might not have been the thing that both of them were preparing for. And Dean is actually replanning again, switching to a different, more emetics, it seems. Yeah, you definitely need the emetics for this, and, but luckily the SMGs can be silenced. I think loud SMG would have made this Ooh, yeah, that a lot more tough. difficult. There's the wall bank for para. And then we'll be doing something very similar just a couple of seconds behind. Still too early to call, but very slight lead for para so far. Ooh, different wall bank from Dean, though. Uh, wall banging through this little... Um, the ceiling of this little basement room stairway thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's the later wall bang, yeah. which means that, uh, well, it is the same trick for both of them, so Para's lead has extended a bit more. He will have to wait for this second security guard and shoot those two cameras. For... Damn, that camera does not <laughs> look good <at> today. <laughs> Holy. Luckily, those guards are quite deaf, it seems. Honestly, that was... See, this map has such tiny margins. This kind of is making the difference. Uh, Dean catching up by a couple more seconds because of the better grab or a better shoot in the camera as far as grabbing the cicada uh, so that he's an unjust pass in disguise to get these two more KOs. Indeed. Maybe a, a smarter choice from Dean using the prompt so it's... Uh... Not sure if that was faster, but it, it definitely were less shots fired into the back of 
uh, Viktor Novikov to get him killed. Ooh, Bar has some troubles with the prompts there, but avoids uh, frontal. While Dean manages to get these guys without any uh, any distractions. Uh, Dean now has the lead. A very, very slight one. Could get, could see a photo finish here in this map, which currently I think would be kind of in Dean's favor. He has two loads since he did it, had a, a early re, uh, replan. Although Parplane did have a very, very long first load. So uh, not sure who would be taking it if this were to happen to be a photo finish, depending on how close it is, of course. Both players have the Sheik's disguise, have the Durian in hand are waiting Dean very careful if he's allowed to enter there or not. <laughs> but even that one is an extra second on yeah. uh, Dean's side. It's going to be really tough. I, it looks like they did the Matic the same second and with the same item in the same position. And they have the same objectives remaining. The Drowning uh, runs the balcony down the pipe and exit helicopter. Uh, now we have buffering on Dean's side. That is not good. Same um, here. At least it's not me then. We did see Para doing... I mean, we can just look at Para's side and assume the same thing is happening for Dean, just like a second slow. And okay, Dean's stream has returned. We are quite possibly... Oh, we are zooming through time right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I mean, it is most likely that it's very similar for Dean and Para. Hopefully 40, the stream catches up soon. 47 is not feeling good on Dean's side. But uh, I did see the correct kill. And there's Dean done and there's Paradon. Two seconds between them. So it is going to be a photo finish right there. Um, we might want to, I don't know, tell Dean to restart his stream or something. If it uh, now, now it's fine. Now it's fine. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, now that the important part of the spin is done. But we will see Dean run to the exit um, as he did well, a couple of seconds ago. And right, then that's me out for a couple of minutes. Yes, yes, sure. Uh, do take your time. Um, in the meantime, I can tell Mike about more things wrong on the overlay, since we have the finish bar on Parablui's side is now overlapping the profile picture. Um, I'm very, very sorry, Mike, if you're listening to this. Um, sorry that we're bringing up all these issues, like, day one. But hopefully... Um, yeah, it can be fixed soon-ish. And I mean, this is not a big thing. It's just a minor graphical thing. All right. Yes, we did have a photo finish. Uh, two seconds between them. So this could very, very much be a tie. Um, I think if I'm, I'm... I'm not sure if the tie margin has changed. I'm just going to try and look that up quickly, but I don't think so. Um, uh -huh. ties less than two different, uh, less than two seconds difference. Uh, we don't currently see the um, the decimals on there. I might be able to tell them one point two two seconds. So it is less than two seconds. The initial difference. Um. So, currently it would be a tie. However, Dean did have two loads, so he might be able to extend his load by zero point eight seconds and make this map or take this map. In his favor, um, Parplay would need more than, uh, w would need 3.2 seconds of loading, m more loading than Dean in order to win this map, uh, which they did have. Parplay did have a very long load at the start of this match. Luckily, it was only, I think, one load Parplay, two loads Dean, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so, yeah, hopefully it's going to be a going to take ages to count um but yeah i am kind of expecting this to be a tie it could be a dean win um a power play win i think at this point is kind of unlikely but yeah we will see no matter the result in this one we will definitely see a third map which is we can already see it on probably side this is gonna be mumbai um which was is the random map for this even if dean wins this as i've said before play all three you get points based 
on these matches for the group stage. Um, so, yeah, you do want to win as many maps as you can, even if you're now down 4-0, for example. You still want to give it everything on the last map to get all the very, very important points um, for the group stage. And as Infofront has pointed out, this is first seed versus third seed. Uh, Dane Namas being the first seed of Group F, Parapluie being third seed of Group F. Um, so if Parapluie has managed to make this map a draw and even possibly win the next one, that would be very, very important points. Um, could help getting out of the group stage as the top four players of each group will be advancing. Let's see. You can already see both players on the mobile loading screen or, or planning screen. Da Dean on the planning screen probably already in game getting a bit of prep in. Um, yeah, see different players doing it differently. Some just like to, uh, yeah, play it. Play the map already a bit in advance, get warmed up, other players just chill in the loadout screen for a little bit and um, are just calming their nerves probably or something while we are waiting for the match result. Let's see, we do also have multiple admins, apparently. Um, counting this photo finish. So we'll get an, an extra, uh, extra accurate result here, I'm assuming. Just gonna point out again, this is play all three maps. So uh, it means we are currently still waiting on the result from Paris since we have a 1.22 second photo finish. And uh, after that, we will definitely see Mumbai. And after that, the match is gonna be over since this is group stage. And it's all about playing all three maps and getting as many points as we can from that. Um. are still counting. Uh, this is a very, very close one. Could go uh, different directions and uh, you don't want to miscount any important photo finishes like these. Uh, so the admins should rightfully take their time with this. Thank you again to Mr. Mike for fixing things as we point them out. I will refresh um, the overlay real quickly before we go into the next map. For now, I'll just leave it as is. And uh, yeah, thank you, thank you for all the work. Um, working, Mike working overtime to fix all the things that we bring up. 
definitely the goat of the early days of the tournament here. Alright, and it seems we will be getting a result very, very soon. Just realized we didn't have player audio on for the remainder maps, but we will get player audio for the last map for sure. Result is in. We're gonna see a tie on this map. Um, Paraplori had a single load for 11.5 seconds. Denomus had two loads for a total of 9.7 seconds, which means Paraplori had, uh, well, won the map by 0 0.8 seconds. However, the draw margin is two seconds, so it's less than. Yeah, the required margin to win, and we will have a draw right here. Which brings yes, the score sir. to 1 to 3, and uh, I find our match admin is back. Thank you for that calculation. And I would like to thank to Mu and Scruffy. Uh, already on the first day, we, we got to look at a close photo finish with two other admins, which is going to be a nice protocol to follow. For the rest of the tourney. Indeed. Apparently, I am too scary. <laughs> in for front jump scare out of nowhere. I don't think so. Uh, let me actually quickly refresh the overlay again before we go into the next <laughs> max map. To hopefully, it's been a minute since the last refresh. Yeah, to hopefully fix all the things now and also get a up-to-date Dean stream again. Um. And yeah, uh, that's first point to Parapluin as well, which, yeah, as I talked about before, could be very, very important in this group stage as every point counts. And I guess, well, speaking about seeds, if you're a, a third seed against a, four, a first seed, you're happy about every point you can get from the match. And there's still one more map where they could get, where another two points are up for grabs. Yeah, it's, um, and also, I think Throat is saying that. Uh, this point, this map, you never know if this might make the difference in three weeks. Um, we don't have the full uh, <laughs> prediction results from, from seeing what the community thinks about this group in particular, but I think Dean and Quotility and who was the third one, I like Hitman, all look favorites to advance, but the fourth place is very difficult to say. For example, between the two Canadians, of course, uh, Paravid as the newer player, uh, but with more recent experience going against the buff guy, one of the veterans and legends of the game, but not playing for one year. So depends what they can do against each other, but also what they can do against the first and second seeds and so on. Indeed, and this Mumbai might give important points to properly. They can pull it off. Uh, they have won Mumbai before once in 11 minutes, where Dean hasn't has lost his only Mumbai. But let's see if this Mumbai is going to be any different. Infofund, what's the spin this time? It is going to be Wazir the Maelstrom, Kali with Falling Object as the Painter, Vanya Shah with Pistol as the Lead Actor, and Dawid Rengen with SMG as the Dancer. All right, a Maelstrom Falling Object. So it's not something where you can just uh, get him from Skywalk Start 
and be done with it. Um, not actually sure what the play for that one is. It's, uh, I was gonna say it's uh, only tower disguises, but the lead actor only belongs in the tower, but <laughs> you cannot find him in there. Uh, and of course, you can do without the dancer. Uh, from the tower, you would probably use the free disguise from the laundry area. So only the painter grab you have to uh, really do there. But other than that, would you would you consider this as a tower start? I mean, you could. You could try tower start, try and get Dawood in the tower pretty early. Grab the painter and leave. Um, and then... I will possibly pick up lead actor, possibly do the, the male stream kill in the meantime, but no player will actually be doing a, a tower start. We have Plan Power Pluri starting in the Charles, I think, that the start is, and uh, I think Dion starting Skywalk. But it looks like from Skywalk he's not uh, looking to isolate Vazir, as you said very well. That little point in that. Uh, <laughs> I think you can force a falling object, but not within the realms of Ruat Rivals and RTA gaming. It looks like his journey will be to the painter. And uh, I think with Skywalk, the flag auto raises, which means that he's on a bit of a timer, but would probably get a falling object kill uh, on the hill. Very possible. Probably first gonna pick up the lead actor, it seems. As we see, Dino is entering the tower. Ooh, but probably got spotted. Getting the lead actor disguise, so that's a first restart there. The holy man is very much a trouble. Um bit of an RNG there. Sometimes he just doesn't go into this um this small road, but sometimes he keeps watching on. And this was the, the rip for Para. Uh Dean is yeah minute forty, minute fifteen and uh, stream looking a bit iffy again. We do have some Time traveling right there. We can somewhat guess what the hitman in the past has been doing there, but uh, now and then it's a bit clearer than other times. Magic playing like that. Lucky Oof. it's just the stream, but uh. yes, that would not be pleasant at all. But Dean has successfully managed to pick up the painter's disguise and is leaving the tower again. There is, yeah, I was going to say it's 145 ish, uh, 148 was exactly for the flag raising for Dean. Uh, bit of a ways away from the hill though, so it's going to be a bit of a gamble for Dean to make it to the Fallen Operate opportunity. He will be phasing through space and time and hopes to make it there faster. <laughs> It is a very lovely effect. <laughs> it is. It does look kind of neat. Not really for the shoutcast, but it is It is a nice effect for sure. Viewer I, discretion I is advised. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. uh, on the other side, Purple has managed to pick that? up... Uh, I wanted to say a lead actor, but that is a regular dancer, is it? It's a regular actor, also called as a dancer. Um, yeah, the now he gets the lead one. Uh, para starting Charles means that the flag, flag won't auto raise. Uh, so, of course, he has as, as much time in the world as you need. Probably going to be the rem remote isolation. Uh, no, the isolation is not remote, the kill will be remote. We've seen the bridging charge in his inventory from. Uh, he selected it from the Charles starting location out in the balcony. So, I would imagine. Oh. I was gonna say that he goes to the the hill, but by the time I finish this sentence, he might go to the tower instead. Troubles for Dean, uh, the red guns seen by uh, that plug, plug was seen by the maelstrom. No one else is interested in that, and it looks like Dean might still get the isolation here. Seems to be fine. There's the KO on the guy that we have now successfully identified as the Maelstrom. Uh, the F in the chat was probably to Dean's run, but it was saved. Yes, the <laughs> stream is fine. His stream is fine, your stream is fine, Curry, so looks like this run is still going. Mm, I just like quick drag, and I did not know about this falling object. 
but I'm gonna try and remember it and probably forget it until the next time <laughs> I play Mumbai. Um, Look at it, it's a uh, very nice 40 object kill. It will be the same one used by Para. Uh, and they've seen the end of it, so he doesn't go for the painter first, he goes for the falling object isolation first and he uh, drops or places the breacher on that, uh, on that neon sign. It's also a historic moment where a Pidgeyaro Jinx has not actually caused the player to look. <laughs> I mean, it was again the opposite since he it saw was. the run is over and the run is still alive. It is, it is. Now with the pistol, kind of be a double shot on the thugs, but of course no, no worries, no worries for Para. Oh, uh, but some worries for Para with the whoosh there. Uh, Neha, they're looking. Uh, Neha and the elite thug, but looks like Para gets out unscathed, and uh, yeah, it's looking to be more of the same isolation as we've seen from the inside. But the thug is coming towards him. Very, very difficult situation for Parin uh, right now. Dean on the other side got the Maelstrom kill. Arguably hardest kill of the spin done and uh, one could say it's just a regular bri so brick. Someone's coming up the stairs uh, leading to the secure like area. Brick it alert like spin by now See with a case. pistol SMG. Both of them can be silenced. Yeah, just need the correct disguises. Being Dancer, which Dean just picked up, and Lead Actor, which I think he still has to grab, but would be doable as well. Yeah, if you were to ask me, this is almost certainly the Dancer, as there is the same body found on Para's side, but it wasn't the Maelstrom, it was uh, the Elite Thug checking out the, the door that was crowbarred open. It's just a matter of wrong timing, because if the door was opened and the maelstrom is closest, he would investigate, and we see the same sequence on the inside, but fortunately Para will have to restart. Yeah, that's a big setback for Para. Like, of course, lead to Dean now. Sorry. Yeah, no, no we're just uh, finishing my previous point, which was kind of nonsense, because the lead actor does have the hoodie all over his head, so of course he was the dancer, but now he's the Queen's card. Now probably gonna just stash a dancer disguise right there, pick up lead actor and trigger the brick. Um, I'm, not, mm, I'm not, not sure where the lead actor is, because I, I do remember both of them trying to get a disguise, or was it Para twice, but I think I remember two green guy attempts. Not actually sure if Dean did anything for the lead actor already. Might but, just be Para then. I suppose Dean has a plan for this. There are no bodies or disguises in here, and he's going back to the usual spot. Nothing on instinct, so might just be this slower or slowest uh, grab of this because we are going to have to wait until the lead actor is back, but he has a good cycle. Very nice. On the other side, we see probably also picking up lead actor right now. Just about uh, six minutes earlier well, in in-game time than Dean. Um, Ooh, soft bumping the lead actor, delaying him a bit. Cycle so seems to be fine. That guard is, is back turn. I think I saw the kick and it's still green. Um, and yeah. yeah, he he doesn't hear the push. He hears the the body reaching the ground like a thrown distraction so he investigates that but the action was uh, was all fine of course we've seen the the holy man could see that but apparently at 745 that's not a factor anymore Indeed. an actual deep fry stream it's uh, <laughs> amazing bella is right there Indeed, but dean has Basically everything I need to finish the spin, I would assume a pistol surely is in their possession and then an SMG probably what has been found as well. And there's the brick being thrown. So now they are on a timer. But it looks like 
the timer is what is going to get the uh, Dean to the end of this map. Uh, it's tough it is to watch, but you kind of can't imagine. Imagine a worse experience than watching a brickler on a chop stream. Like only <laughs> only one factor is bad enough, but both at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's hope that we are gonna have Dean's gonna have a better stream for the next matches. Uh, of course, probably nothing they can really influence right away right now, but maybe just a restart or anything is gonna help it next time. But for this last map, we're just gonna endure. Uh, the very special visual effects that Dean has specifically prepared for this match. We're gonna miss it. <laughs> Three, but... Key number two and number three, and Dean is in the correct disguise, so that will beat the Banya kill down. Changes the dancer right here, and I think Dean is the person, the type of person to always have a uh, snail or a blue egg. I would be surprised if we see uh, pistol distractions, but of course, possibility. Other than that, it's, uh, it's not unreapable, but it's very simple from now to the finish. Indeed, uh, not the toughest of Dalwood kills. No, no target pacification or anything in there that could make this more difficult. Just a regular firearm and a regular disguise, both of which, both of which have already been obtained. And I think I just saw an blue egg in his inventory. Keeping up with the times, it used to be the snail for everyone, and of course the blue egg came out, gaining popularity slowly. But then eventually it became sort of obvious that if you leave anything else unchanged, it's just a quicker exit, because you leave the, uh, the food vendor taxi driver up, two coins in hand, you can, you can finish there, and this is a Dinomus variation with the two coins. Uh, I think this will be the variant which uh, doesn't even lock uh, Davut down because he will see the first coin and the second coin. Uh, all the while, you just bunch up these uh, the guards. These and... guards yeah. I see. Very, very nice variation there. On the other side, Para has gotten the Maelstrom now, uh, dragging him to the sign. Wearing the correct disguise yet, but you can see it's from part of the the band, then unband uh, holding object setup. You can kind of boost. I'm not sure if that's the perfect word, but you can get on top of those uh, boxes, garbage, whatever, and place the breacher, which won't be seen this run to the full extent because Dean is about to. So he will end up making him dig these bodies. Well, a bit like Dean was a bit, ooh, and Dean's already done, although his stream is still a bit behind. I'm sure if Dawood was a bit far ahead and uh, maybe the uh, food vendor would have seen Dawood kill, but that's the Dean exit right there. And uh, hopefully we can see five stars without <laughs> visual effects in a second, although... Phased into the tuk -tuk. Yeah. It's such a fitting end. I'm still not seeing the five stars. So. There it is. If you see it, then I'll believe you. Yeah, I see it five stars. stars. <laughs> a red Sullen Assassin, there it is. And it is a Dinomas 5 1. However, one very important point has gone to Parpalui in this match. Very, very nicely done. Yep, GG's. Um, uh, it's a very Dean like performance with the first try. Uh, definitely on Mumbai, definitely on Mendoza, and the replan in Paris. And uh, you can see the replan cost him the one point, but <laughs> he couldn't have done it so quickly without the replan. So all good decisions there and probably a strong first match. Uh, in with performance like this, I don't think the top four will be a problem. So <laughs> group definitely getting even more interesting than before this match. Indeed. Um, I think it was, I think it was so long. Let's see. Uh, it was a group. F match, if I'm mistaken. I mean, not a lot of things on there yet. This match isn't even on there yet. Um, but I, I, I did press finalize match. I'll um, press it again. I'm gonna refresh it real quick, see if that changes anything, or that might just not sure if that actually works yet, or if there's some. Oh no, there we have it. Uh, Dino was currently first 
in the group with five points, 100% win rate. However, Parplui, as we've talked before, second place right now, obviously probably going to change with more matches played and everything, um, but has that one very important point, which could make the difference in the end between a fourth and a fifth place finish or something like that. And uh, yeah, groups are looking very empty so far, but uh, we that will change today and in the coming days. That's the hope. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just waiting for the sp st uh, stinger to play out because it's so long. Um, we do have more matches today and tomorrow. The next one being in just under four hours. FE302 versus fly for you on Dubai and Hokkaido casted by the one and only Mu. And uh, I think one more match today, exactly. Um, Pack versus That Observer on Berlin and Mendoza. And uh, currently no caster assigned yet. However, I'm sure we will find someone for that. And then we do have a couple more matches tomorrow. Uh, Max Marsus and nizuko chan at 5 a.m. Central European Summertime tomorrow. And Peter Dutton, Gecko, 7 a.m. Falcon, BLW, 13 o'clock. Uh, Ashton versus Fanium, 14.30. Peter Dutton, TK, 15 o'clock. Um, so lots and lots of matches tomorrow and uh, in the coming days. It's going to be a busy weekend, but we will... Uh, yeah, we will get the tournament started right away. Well, lots of matches, 38 additional matches that were not on this page. If you want to see the full match, a full list of upcoming matches, um, including your in your local time zone, uh, you can see all of them on hitmaps.com. And uh, yeah, any any last comments on this match so far in for fun? Disappointed you didn't read out the other 38 additional matches. <laughs> other than that, no complaints. It was a good match, a good first day very, for both of these players. Very, very certainly. Um, and yeah, and I guess at this point, all we have left to say is to thank you all very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the cast. Um, I'm just gonna, yeah, enjoy <laughs> just thought about how I can plug our, our awards in this. If you find, if you saw anything that was award worthy in this match, make sure to nominate them on rrawards.tv. Um, thank you to Infrafun for admitting and co-casting this match with us. Of course, yeah. rrawards.tv. <laughs> it, command doesn't work yet, but I'm, I will I will write one after this one. Um, and uh, yeah, congratulations. Uh, thank you to, to players for playing, of course. Uh, congratulations uh, to Dinomos for winning this one. And best of luck to Parplu for the rest of the group stage matches. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the cast. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you soon in just another four hours with the next match today. Thank you and goodbye.